What makes a bad RPG game? So this could be a controversial one, I'm not sure, especially if we include two grumpy wizards. But <laughs> what makes a bad RPG? I'm the DMG and this is DM Scotty. A bad game can be different for a lot of people. Maybe you like a murder hobo game. I love me a murder hobo game. <laughs> and there's someone in it that does it. They wanna they wanna talk to the NPCs, they actually wanna, you know, talk to them before you murder all the people and like you just kill everyone, that can be a problem. But really what your group is having fun with is uh, is right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That that's a good game if your group yeah. is having fun with it. It kinda goes your back to your whole that. group, so it's not like you're yes. marginalizing yeah, one yeah. person. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like some poor person who wants to actually talk to the NPCs. <laughs> but <laughs> How dare you <laughs> How dare you talk to the NPCs? Session zero can be very important in that. Yeah. So we talked about we we've got a video on session zero where we expounds the virtues and bad things of session zero. A bad game to me is where people are losing sight of why they came to the game in the first place. It's not necessarily the DM that makes it a bad game. The players can be making it a bad game. They're losing interest for external reasons um, and they're not telling the DM why that's happening. They're breaking up with their wife or girlfriend or husband or whatever. And they don't say like, I'm having problems and that's why I'm not paying attention and not like in the game. So it's important that you actually say, look, I'm, I'm having a little trouble. Like, you know, I'd like to, you know, step away for a little bit and then come back so that it doesn't destabilize the group. Or if they choose to stay, it's the thing that sort of gets them away from that. Try not to have the game be a downer so that, you know, this poor person who's trying to use the game as an escape, it's not an escape for them anymore. But those are sort of like social bad game scenarios, really. Mechanics wise is when people are always fudging the rules in a way that, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, cheating really can p sour a game. Because you can't, I mean, it's a, it's a cooperative game, so cheating is, you know, I mean, you're just cheating to make yourself look good, but yeah. you're not making yourself look good because everyone hates you. Yeah, yeah. So it's pointless. Yeah. I have a friend of mine who always just rolls and then he pick, picks up the dice and rolls again. You know, if he just didn't quickly like the roll, he just does it again. Uh, it's irritating. Yeah, it's just yeah. play it as it lies. I played with him for years and it was always just stop doing that, stop doing that, stop doing that. It's annoying. You don't want to have to do that. You tell people their behavior is just ridiculous. But it's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to yeah, happen. It people, will happen. Yeah. You know, people are not the same all the time. Life changes. Things are happening. You you know, you don't need know behind We're the scenes. <laughs> yeah. We're not robots. We're not robots. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's a robot. I am a robot. He's a robot. <laughs> You've got to look at it. Is it a mechanical problem? Is it a social problem? Well, there's also the DM problem. Yeah. Or the GM problem. You're just crap. <laughs> <laughs> Adversarial GMs. I think of it as kind of you're the host of a party, right? Yeah. And if you're adversarial, you're not a good host. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying to make the enemies easy or anything uh, you know you want you want to get right up to that point where they're dangerous but, but you're poisoning all the drinks is what you're doing <laughs> you know and make it interesting but you don't want to be adversarial in a way where you're just trying to kill players just for your enjoyment that is no fun for players that could definitely poison the game that 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 could ruin a game if that happens if you have a gm like that i don't know if there's much you can do about that i, I except leave the game if I was thought I was good at DM and, and people came to me and said, listen, um, this isn't working. Um, can you please change what you're doing? I would respect that and say, well, clearly I'm doing something wrong. Yeah. You know, but again, that's my kind of character. That's my personal right. character, right? right. Um, I'm, I'm open to suggestion. I'm open for, you know, for change. But there are people who are extremely rigid who may not have the social skills or whatever, and they just see it as it's me versus them. Right. Um, that is the wrong attitude. And that is a very difficult attitude yeah. to, to break if a person is just set in their ways. Right. But even then, I would still talk to them and say, listen, what you're doing is not working. Because if you don't talk to people, they're never going to learn. That's you know, true. That's they're never going to learn. That's they'll a watch point. a video like this and they'll comment and say, you're talking crap. You know, you don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Right. Because they, they, it's like a wall in their mind. They don't see over the wall. Mm -hmm. Look, if you love that game where it's adversarial and you love a GM that's trying to kill you every five minutes, great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. If Keep you, going. If that's the style you like. Yeah. I haven't met many of those people. I haven't either. <laughs> there are people who are masochists. But I'm sure there, there probably are people that would like it. Yeah, there's masochists out there who love Not that Not that I've met, but you know. <laughs> a true sadist would never hit a masochist. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Mm.
bad is in your own sort of you, you right. make your own decision as to what is actually bad right I would always err, err on the side of caution and uh, say talk it out discuss the problem but if you've done a decent session zero then you wouldn't especially in a long campaign look in a short yeah. campaign or it's one shot yeah you never a one shot you may never see this person again so it's right. like I just lost four hours of my time right a short campaign where you're running three to five you're like uh, I just won't show up for the last session um, but if it's going to be a long campaign, you need to cut that stuff off quick because otherwise you're dedicating a whole bunch of your life to something you don't like. Gareth's right. If you go to a session and you don't like it, talk to the people involved, whether it's other players that are disruptive or you know talking over you or whatever or telling you what to do, whether it's the game master or DM who's you know trying to kill you 24-7 or won't listen to the players. And if you can't figure out what's making it bad, but you know it's bad, it's probably you that's making it bad. Self-check. If it looks like everyone's having a bad time, but you're having a good time, self-check. Because it could be you that's squashing other people and telling them what to do. <laughs> right. You know, and it's like you back in your mind, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing these yeah. things. Self-reflection. Yep. Yes, just keep yourself in check. You can have fun without being the person who does everything. Right, yes. This one's from a, a Lee Juice. Mm-hmm. But he spells it wrong. What kind of name is that? Exactly. How who the hell spells juice? J U Y C E. Yeah, that's crazy. Just drop the Y, bro. It's way better. Yeah. Okay. What are you related to OJ? Yeah, little little E. He's from like. What? Can you read that? Uh, he's on YouTube. What the hell is a YouTube? I don't know. It sounds like a sex toy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a tube that goes up your yoo-yoo. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, that's some kind of toy you got there, bro. I have to get on this YouTube. I don't know why you were writing to two uh, older guys about your YouTube. But uh, exactly. But if you do use that name, we've, we've, we're trademarking it. So yeah, $50 yeah, yeah. if you use YouTube. Yeah, yeah. That's what my friend said. Yeah, $50. So he has a, uh, oh my God, this, oh man, he goes in depth. Oh, uh, no, this, not one of those. This kid can write. Not one of those. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're only like, like a couple of months into the show and we started to deal with some heavy hitters here. Uh, I might need some special things from the magic box. Yeah, yeah, magic box. Okay, well, did you put the money in a box, bro? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, it's no, okay. okay. What makes a good game? It's essentially the gist of what this guy's on about. No. What makes a good game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. What does? Titties. Oh, <laughs> in chain mail. Oh, yes, yes. That's it. That's it? Yep, that's it. That's all you need, that's bro. That's it, kids. That's it. And $50. <laughs> That's like each time we find one of these episodes that are like aligns with what we're doing. You but know? we got to we got to show you. Come on, guys. We got to show you. Yeah, we got to show you that you. We've done a deal with the with the documentary <laughs> filmmakers, and you know we've kind of like we've bitten off a bit more than we can chew. Yeah. But, you know, at least the stuff is finding the light of day. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, where in your basement did you store this stuff? It's like, behind several crucifixes, you know. They're like, I don't know. Giant spider nest. They're like submerged in holy water. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. We're Quest Givers, and where can they go to help us out? Where you can go is to questgivers.com. We have uh, system neutral modules. We have advice on uh, game mastering. We have miniatures. Uh, modules, mini, mini adventures. So check out questgivers.com and uh, thanks for joining us guys. Yeah, we'll see you next Friday and on the 1st of September there is a Kickstarter